good evening students today we start a new chapter which one is coordinate geometry all of you have seen here chapter number seven so already we complete five to six chapters all of you know this so next we have to start that's why here coordinate geometry and this chapter is very easy and very comfortable so easily you can solve each and every question from this chapter now already you know this coordinate geometry we get in class nine so now here just we recall first so first of all if you see here this plane all of you know the name of this plane this plane is known as xy plane or cartesian plane so here this x axis is known as x axis and this y y this is known as y axis so that's why here the four quadrants are there all of you have seen here so first quadrant is both are positive then negative positive then negative negative and the last one is positive negative so now after that here if a point lie on x axis then all of you know this we get in class 9 the y coordinate is 0 and that's why the coordinate is x comma 0 if a point lies on y axis then the x coordinate is 0 and the coordinate coordinate uh, may be 0 comma y so now here first of all here if you see this x axis and y axis with respect to these two if a point lies on any quadrant suppose suppose if we consider this first point so from this point to this y y this some distances are there perpendicular distance so what is the name of this distance we get in class 9 so again we recall this you see here now x coordinate so in class 9 we get this x coordinate is also known as abscissa so here we written and the definition is also written here you see the distance of a point from the y axis y axis means this y y this from this y y this the point whatever we consider this distance is known as abscissa and similarly on another point if you consider from with respect to this x axis which one is known as ordinate you see here the distance of a point from the y x uh, x axis so that means this x axis so if you consider this point so from here we can we consider a perpendicular line here and this distance is known as ordinate so these two abscissa and ordinate already you get in class 9 after that we get linear equation in two variables which one also we got in class 9 isn't it so the general equation of this line is ax plus by plus c so now here this a b and c are the variables and one thing you always you remember this a and b not equal to zero at the same time is it clear okay now after that recalling this part this part is very important here to solve the coordinate geometry so in this chapter coordinate geometry what we have to discuss so mainly here the main contents are first content is distance formula we have to discuss here second one is section formula with internally and the last one is area of a triangle mainly these three topics are we have to discuss here and if we cover these three topic then our coordinate geometry chapter is complete is it clear so mainly we have to discuss these three so today we have to discuss about the first one distance formula and how can we get this formula and with respect to this distance formula how can we solve the questions we have to discuss later on we have to discuss the section formula and the area of the triangle mainly here these three topics are there we have to cover up is it clear okay so students today the first topic is here distance formula we have to discuss so first one you see here this one is the name of this plane is what x y plane so now here we consider two points one point is p another point is q here the coordinate of p is x1 y1 and the coordinate of q is x2 y2 now what we have to do we have to find out the distance between these two points so there is a basic formula here to find out this distance so if you find out the distance between p to q then the formula we have to write here x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which one we written here you see this 
the formula is this one pq equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this one is the general formula of a distance distance between two points is it clear so now the same thing if one point is given origin suppose if we consider origin o here origin all of you know the coordinate is what zero zero so another point is here we consider p x comma y so if anyone asks you to find out the distance between from a origin to any point so how can you find out so now in this case you see here uh, op we have to find out the distance between op and here the formula is root over x the same formula whatever we are applying here this one the same formula we have to apply so x minus 0 whole square and y minus 0 whole square you return we write here so 0 here finally we get op equal to root over x square plus y square so why we write this one so if any case if you get from the origin if you find out the distance so you can directly write down the point square you see p point is x and y so that's why we write root over x square plus y square is it clear so after that now the main point is come here how can we know the formula is correct here so there is a proof for this formula so root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square for this formula there is a proof now let's see how can we prove this formula and how can we derive this formula so in exam may we come how can we derive this formula so let's see here now so now here first of all what you have to do we have to draw a xy plane and then after that you have to take two points one point is p another point is q and the vertices the point is coordinates are x1 and y1 and for q it is x2 and y2 now here what you have to do from p and from q we have to draw two perpendiculars on x-axis remember on x-axis and these two perpendiculars are touching at point r and s now here you see point p is x1 y1 so obviously from the origin to up to r the distance is x1 and from r to p the distances is y1 so that's why we get the coordinate is x1 y1 all of you know this how can you write a uh, consider a point or how can you plot a point on the xy plane with respect to the perpendicular lines the two perpendicular lines intersect each other at one place and this one we define similarly here from o to r the distance is x1 and r to p the distance is y1 so that's why the p coordinate is x1 y1 is it clear so next one is come q point so when we draw the perpendicular so from this origin o from origin to s the distances we consider x2 and from s to q the distance is we consider y2 so for that reason here the coordinate is what x2 comma y2 now if anyone asks you to find out the distance rs how can you find out the total length is what x2 and or is how much x1 so that's why from the total length the longest length whatever you get x2 minus x1 if you do then you get the distance rs isn't it and this rs distance is same as pt because this p from p we have to draw a perpendicular on qs and which one is we defined by t so this because of this two are perpendicular lines this pt distance and rs distance are same so that's why if rs distance is x2 minus x1 so pt is also x2 minus x1 is it clear similarly here you see the total length is qs qs is why what we consider y2 and now you see here pr is what y1 so if pr is y1 then ts is also y1 so if you want the distance qt how can you find out y2 minus y1 the total length y2 and this distance is y1 so that's why we write y2 minus y1 which two are we written here so so if you see here QPT this one is a right angle triangle so in this right angle triangle easily we can apply here the Pythagoras theorem so PQ is the hypotenuse PT is the base and QT is the perpendicular so if you apply the Pythagoras theorem here so PQ square equal to PT square plus QT square 
so pt length we know x2 minus x1 already we get here qt also we know y2 minus y1 so we put this two value so now you if you take the square root then this one is the formula pq equal to this one so in case of square root we get plus minus but here we take the only the plus positive one because the it is distance distance never negative so that's why we have to take only the positive one so finally we get the distance formula here the distance between two points if given to you without doing anything we can directly apply this formula so okay now students we consider an example let's see the example here so here x axis here we consider two points one point is p the coordinate is we just consider one two and the another point is we consider q which one is the point is we consider two comma three so now if anyone asks you to find out the distance between these pq points the how can you find out now very simple you see here this p point we consider x1 y1 and if you consider q point is x2 y2 then easily we can apply the distance formula which one we know x2 minus x1 whole square so here x2 means 2 x1 means 1 so that's why root over 2 minus 1 whole square y2 minus y1 that means y2 means 3 y1 means 2 so 3 minus 2 whole square and if you calculate this one then you get the answer here so very simple distance formula so easily you can solve now your task is what with respect to this theory class here first of all you have to complete all the example questions is it clear first of all you have to complete all the example questions by your own and then after completing the example questions then you have to complete the exercise question of this distance formula is it clear and after that few questions we have to discuss from the exercise which are you feel comfort is it clear so first of all you have to complete the exercise question you have to solve by your own the example questions and then you do the exercise also in the next video we discuss some exercise questions is it clear Okay, thank you.